Okay, so this rafter calculator is for a circular tower, and uh, this you don't need uh, very many components to type into this one, um, but we can see here that uh, we just need to know the radius. So whatever the radius is from outside to outside here, you can plug that in. So we'll just go ahead and leave it as 8 feet. We see that our common overhang run is uh, 24 inches. And uh, but then you notice here the rafter on center spacing at the plate line, and uh, we're going to have a measurement of eight here. So it'll be eight inches is how far we're going to put these uh, apart, and that's important because uh, for for a radius roof to bend and not have segments in it, they need to be fairly close together. So as a number eight here usually works pretty good, and uh, we can see we're going to do it at an eight and twelve. So if we hit submit. We uh, see that uh, our radius is 8 feet. The circumference of the tower plate line is 53 and 3 sixteenths. And uh, the circumference at the fascia line is 62 foot 11 or 10 inches. Now, the, what that is, is that's giving us the length of how long this plate is all the way around the outside and also the fascia. And uh, that's helpful so that you can divide it evenly to know how to lay your plate out or uh, how much plate you're going to need. So it uh, gives us a run of eight feet, a pitch of eight feet, and um, and again when it gives us the radius, we can see that it's actually not from across, but the radius is half that thickness. So if, um, this is actually a 16 foot span for this circular tower and uh, our eight foot run. So that's important, and um, it gives us our rise again. Uh, no heel heights are factored into this rise. This is just the actual rise. So um, you'll have to figure out and account for your hap height or your heel height. Common rafter length, 9 foot 7 and 7 sixteenths. That measurement, again, is going to be to the center. And all these rafters are the exact same length uh, without the deductions factored in for the setbacks. And again, this is a, a diagram for an octagon with our rafters using inch and a half stock coming together here. And uh, usually even on a circular roof, I like to do things the same way. I like to start out with the four rafters at 90, to, um, opposing at 90, and then bring these in, and then the 67 and a half degrees, and then, and then you'll probably even need to bring the rest of them in between these. And that's the, uh, the easiest way to cut that, though. So back to this, we... Uh, Overhang length two feet. Common rafter overhang is uh, two foot four and seven eighths. That's the tail length. Common rafter length to the fascia lines twelve foot to the fascia. So that you know how long material you're going to need. The spacing is eight inches, like we said. Number of common rafters at eight inches on center equals seventy six. So it tells you right there how many rafters we're going to need to go around this whole thing at eight inches. And uh, common rafter spacing at the plate it tells us that uh, so if we were to lay everything out at eight inches when we got to the end of where we would start so let's say if we started here and we went all the way around by the time we got here we wouldn't have eight inches anymore we would have an off measurement but if we go through and we make it seven inches and fifteen sixteenths you know for this particular one then um, they're all going to be equal Common rafter spacing at the inside of the plate is seven and a half. That's telling us where the inside of it of the plate is, and uh, common rafter spacing at the inside of the fascia, and then plywood roof sheet count. It tells us that uh, we're going to need 22 slivers of plywood to go across this. So that's very helpful as well. So hope uh, hope this helps you on your next circular tower roof.